Wow, guys, after seeing this movie, I can definitely confirm the hierarchy of power in the DCE. EU has officially changed. What's up, Brooklanders? It's me, Mr. J, and today I am reviewing Shazam! Fury of the Gods, the new DC kinda like stepchild bastard kid of this weird franchise. Honestly, like, who knows what this movie's role is in the whole grand plan, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a movie. Here's the good thing. Shazam! isn't a bad movie. It was not a horrible experience. Granted, not a fantastic movie either, but not a not a bad movie by any means. Let's talk about the good stuff first. Jack Dylan Grazer, let him cook. Dude is phenomenal in this movie. He brings those acting chops we've seen in so many past roles of his, and he is the standout acting-wise in this movie. I thought he was fantastic, and he brings a lot of heart and emotion to a film that's largely based in comedy. It's funny because Jack Dylan Grazer is in this movie a lot, and he has a lot of good opportunities to show off those acting chops. Hey, movie, that's cool. Can I get some scenes, too? Oh, um, uh, oh, 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 look at the time. Wow, um, I gotta, uh, oof. <laughs> Huh, hierarchy's changing, man, for sure. Yeah, Astra Angel is almost non-existent in this film, and that's a bit of a bummer because I liked him in the first film, and I liked that transitioning period between him and adult Shazam. And that's not here. He's Zachary Levi Shazam essentially the entire movie. So that was a bit of a bummer. And besides Freddy and Mary, all the other siblings kind of just feel like background characters. They don't really feel like inspired roles in the film, kind of like oh, they have to be here because they were in the finale of the last one. I'm not saying I didn't like them or that they just wasted space in the movie, but they don't really have character arcs, no real emotional stakes in the movie, and you can't have an emotional stake and character arc for every single sibling, because there's a lot of them. But still, just something I noticed. Let's talk about the bad guys. Gals? The bad gals. Let's talk about the bad gals. You have the daughters of Atlas, and I think that um, they're fine. They're alright. I'm a fan of all of these actresses, and I think they all do a good job, but I think that since there's three of them, sometimes the movie doesn't know where to focus, and I feel like there was some more background and origins and motivations cut out of it. It feels missing here. I don't know, I feel like right when the movie's getting me invested into them, we just cut away to something else. Like there's this one scene where they're having this really passionate debate, no spoilers, so one of the siblings is like, oh man, I like barbecue sauce. And the other one's like, oh no, I like ranch sauce. Is ranch a sauce? I don't know. Ranch sauce, barbecue sauce, ranch sauce barbecue sauce and they're having this heated debate and I'm like oh my gosh what's gonna happen oh which sauce are we going with and then they just cut away and um, they're using ranch sauce so um, I don't know if that makes any sense if I explain it like that probably not maybe I'll just cut this part out. I think Rachel Zegler's character Anthea is probably the best I felt the most connection to her I like the way she's introduced and I like her relationship with Freddy um, one of the better dynamics in the whole movie. The action, let's say the last sequence is cool. The last sequence is by far the best, but for the majority of the movie, it kind of feels like, here, one, let me show you. Shazam's like this, and he goes, bam, and then the person flies away, and he goes, you little bitch, and then Shazam comes, and the bad guy comes back, and they go, bam, and they fly around, and they go, you suck, stupid, and then, bam, and it's just like, it's just flying each other. There's no choreography. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing with like toys. Wow, I'm a child. Shazam. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense today, but yeah, I wanted more fight choreography. Merlin, wizard guy, he was fantastic. One of the funnier parts of this movie. I really enjoyed his addition here. It didn't feel at all like just a tacked on thing because we've seen it in, uh, What's the, what's the rock one? I think where the movie kind of just struggles is it feels kind of more aimed at a younger audience. There are a lot of these cliches and a lot of these things where when you really think about it, you're like, well, huh? Like I said, the movie wasn't bad. I was entertained for the most part. There are some highlights. There are some criticisms. Unfortunately, it's kind of just as good as a lot of these superhero movies coming out. Um, and that's just an average film. Gonna give this bad boy a six. Look at that, pretty cool. Um, top 10 though, so that's cool. I've only seen 12 movies, so. Um, but yeah, top 10. I was really shocked though when Henry Cavill showed up again. I was like, I thought he was done. And he was like, 
oh, Miss Waller sent me. And then Dwayne Johnson's like, don't even think about putting me in the movie. I'm from that franchise. Oh, beat your ass, dude. Don't even try me, dude. Don't even try me. You can't smell what The Rock's cooking. He doesn't do, does he do this? That's John Cena, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is 